We took over management of Bodnam Lake in 2016 in partnership with New Leaf. It was still in sort of the same condition that it was when it was a gravel pit. It was very steep sided, um, not much aquatic plants growing around the edges, so it wasn't as good for wildlife as it could be. So the idea was to do some reprofiling, to change the shape so that we've got shallows, we've got deeps, to create some little islands, just to make it a much better space for nature. In 2018, we got some huge diggers on the site to make the edges of the lake nice and shallow, like more like a natural lake would be and a bit less like a gravel pit. The diggers moved 30,000 tonnes of soil. It's been quite a few months of bulldozers and diggers and what have you, and it's smoothing it all out. So there are places now where, where things, deer and all sorts, can get down to drink, which they couldn't previously. Uh, we've got a, a, such a good variety of birds coming in now. Again, birds that hadn't been seen here before. We wanted to create reed beds because they're fantastic for wildlife. So the reed plants have nice fluffy seed heads which lots of birds like to eat. Lots of species like to make nests in the upright stems. So you get species like reed warbler but also harvest mice love to weave their little nests around the stems. They're great for fish and amphibians because there's lots of protection in amongst the stems from predators. Reed bed is really quite a rare habitat. Any increase on, on that, just a few acres, makes quite a significant difference. Volunteers, including myself, have planted 1,500 reed plantlets and uh, we're hoping that that will mature over the next 10 years. And we've also taken turfs of reed from the reed bed that we've got on site and we've planted 20 turfs around the site just to give the reed bed a helping hand and we hope that'll attract more wildlife to the site. Some of the species that we hope to see more of here are things like eels. Eels are, are declining rapidly but they love living in reed bed, it's a great habitat for them. So as part of the project we've released eels into the reed bed here. Volunteers have been helping us at Bodnam Lake recording the wildlife so that we know what wildlife we have now when we only have a little bit of reed bed and over time we'll see how the wildlife changes. One particular way to see whatever is here is when we're not here. So we've put the trail cameras up and they're set to catch any movement. We've got all sorts of birds coming in, otters, I love seeing them on camera. I've become involved in reptile monitoring, in crayfish monitoring. We've been monitoring birds, eels, butterflies, moths, bats, everything that really utilises this habitat so that we can really monitor how successful the project has been long term. I love it when we find snakes and things because this was not known as an area for grass snakes. So it wasn't until we started monitoring and then it turns out we're one of the best places in the county for grass snakes. So that, that, I think the monitoring of that is quite exciting. The, the animals like to bask on the tins or just under, keep warm under the tins. Um, and so they get lifted up very carefully and you see sort of very quickly see, what, see what's under there before it shoots off. And it'll be grass snakes mainly, um, but we have also seen some slow worms as well. We're already seeing oyster catchers, small egrets, golden eyes, some of the uh, birds that are becoming uh, more frequently seen here. I get very excited by birds because that's my passion. When you see a kingfisher flying in, your heart just goes, oh wow. There is a migratory route for toads just on the other side of the, of the road here. And toads overwinter in the woods and then they go to the lake to breed. We set up a group of volunteers to pick up the toads and brought them down to the lake. We've already seen quite a big increase in the toadlet population. We aim to get 50 volunteers a part of this project and it's been really successful. The volunteers have loved it and we've had over 100 volunteers from all sort of walks of life. We've had um, retired people, we've had trainees right at the start of their career. So it's been really nice to see people enjoying the lake, enjoying the wildlife here. I love being here. I feel like I'm contributing as well. I'm putting a bit back. The volunteers that come down here are very knowledgeable and you get a real buzz from just wandering down for a couple, even a couple of hours. I think the really exciting thing about this project is the legacy. So obviously we've we've created the start of a reed bed here, but over over long term it's really going to establish. And it's not very often you can actually create a new habitat and see directly the impact that you're creating. But we've made the shallows, put the reeds in the ground, and we'll we can see already that they're growing. They've grown so much in just a couple of months. It's really nice to see the change in the site in such a short period of time. It's how it should be. It really matters that everything that could be here is here. It just makes you feel wonderful.